Men, always maintain your frame. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to a toast to the men with your guy, SD Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Again, folks, Wednesdays with Yaya. The beautiful, lovely, intelligent wife, Yaya. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. good. I'm good. How's your week going so far? Good. Good. Yeah. Mine, mine has been good. Had a, actually, my day has topped it off, and it's just Wednesday. Wow. So, yeah, I had a good week so far. So, That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, no doubt. Men, maintain your frame. Now, uh, I've heard things over the years about women being attracted to a man's jawline. Mm -hmm. Is it the jawball line? Uh -huh. Been attracted to that, or those men drawing more attention to themselves, you know. Um, now I've seen some things where men can get that intact, working out, working out that neck, mm -hmm. <laughs> losing some weight, right. you know, getting that thing intact. Mm -hmm. But some people just are not built with that makeup, right? right? right. But I want to talk about maintaining your frame, you know, always keeping. That masculine frame, that masculine stance. We know over the years, mm -hmm. men can get lazy, let some things go, start getting those boobs, beer bellies. Uh, how important, not just to you, but to women over the years, you know, because uh, I, would, I would assume once you get with the guy, you're attracted to him. Right. And not always, but we'll just we'll just talk about uh, the majority. You're attracted to the man, so you're attracted to his frame. Right. But over the years, you know, man can start letting that go. Uh, how do women look at that? Well, when a man start letting himself go, it's not maintaining his frame. The thing that got you. You're right, and I think it's more excusable for a, a woman to have. A little flabbiness or... Uh, <laughs> why? I, well, I mean, it just has been. I don't know why. It just has been. You didn't like, say it has been excusable. You said it's more excusable. <laughs> because it looks more natural to have a little flabbiness. For, for one to be a little soft. Just a little soft. A little, a little, soft. Yeah. A little something to pinch. I get it. A little, you know, a couple of love handles. Like a little couple of rolls. Right. So, and it's been just the opposite for men. We just expect the man to have more firmness, um, more strength in the, the cheekbones, not to have breasts. Mm -hmm. You know, we expect it to be more solid. Right. So, it's more noticeable if the male body is starting to resemble the, the female female's body. body. Okay. All right, all right, I dig it. And I guess it wouldn't be so attractive if the female body start resembling there you go. the prototypical male body. Uh, I get that, I get that. Now, do, do the women, I'll just take you for instance, through your lifetime, do, do, you, do you feel, have you felt a sense of a lack of security if the man is out of shape? Say so he has no weapon, no gun. He just he's out of shape. He's flabby. We got some health health issues. Do you feel secure under that? I haven't felt insecure with the the flabbiness, but you know what? What's, what I don't like what? is heavy breathing. Like you know, you take five, ten steps, and it's just. <gasps> You know, like, I mean, you know. You, <laughs> right, right, right. You know, you so just out of shape. Just out of shape. Yeah, out of shape. Uh, Maybe that wasn't a good resemblance, but. but. <laughs> I mean, that, that is out of shape if he can't, if he can't walk just a moderate distance without breathing hard. That's, that's out of shape. But there are, there are, um, you know, there are some men with weight 
that are strong. So it does not mean Right. Right. But I take the animal kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, we could just take domestic dogs, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when I see a uh, a male dog that's out of shape, like I'm disappointed, and I don't even look at the male dog uh, being out of shape the same as I look at the female dog, because most of the time, you know, you'll see a female dog they got a lot of weight on it, mm -hmm. and uh, you can tell has had a litter or two, and um, she's she's not in that same shape before giving birth. Mm -hmm. But regardless of how old the male dog is, we just look down upon it if it's out of shape. You know, I have noticed that you, you've made some analogies with some male dogs. You were like, look at the stands. Yeah. Or like a pit or a, a, a boxer. That's, boxer. My, that's yeah. my favorite, a boxer. Mm -hmm. I like to build the stands. And uh, yeah, I, I will make exceptions uh, for the female dog, but that's one one of the reasons I don't want a female dog too. Yeah, you know the menstrual cycles uh, and uh, just man after they have those that litter, man they just they don't look the same. Is that, <laughs> I mean I guess I could say that about <laughs> the human the human female. I, I don't know, but but <laughs> y'all get a pass. But y'all get a pass. Is a female dog softer? Uh, I think more I've cuddly, never, more I've cuddly. Never, I've never had a, a, a female. I think female dogs yeah. are more cuddly. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Got that that feminine energy, even though they're a dog canine. They got that feminine energy, more cuddly. Uh, and but you know, you got you got some male dogs cuddly too, but you know, I think it's a difference. But uh, That's a good way to look at that. yeah, I think uh, a man should exude that masculine presence at all time, uh, no matter how old he gets. And uh, I think a woman just looks at him differently when when he when he has that presence, when his shoulders have that indenture, mm -hmm. you know, he doesn't have the double chin. Uh, and what it is, aside from aesthetically looking good, you know, uh, looking good to the eye, but I think internally, it shows discipline. You know, it really shows discipline. And uh, how can a man, you know, there's several ways to lead. We talked about that, man. We're just diving in on one of them. But I think one of the, re one of the ways to lead, by example, is being in shape. Uh, being, you know, you don't have to be a bodybuilder or weightlifter, you know, this workout guru. But I do think you need to be able to uh, <clears throat> pass a, a basic uh, uh, physical mm -hmm. or, or uh, a course. <laughs> uh, what you call? What kind of course is that? The course that has you doing these uh, different activities, extracurricular obstacle, obstacle course. Mm -hmm. I think even at 60, 65, you should be able to pass a basic obstacle course. And uh, a lot of that starts from a young age, when you're a young man, not tearing down your body, mm -hmm. being focused, doing things in moderation, not going overboard. You know, one of the fastest things, alcohol and the, and the drugs can break down your bones and, and your joints. And so, uh, yeah, man, we gotta be cognizant of that uh, because uh, I think it discredits you. It discredits your value. And sometimes people can't even look past that right. to show what's inside of you, in your head, in your heart, in your character. Right. And I, yeah, I'll be honest, man. Like uh, when I see guys who uh, seem to have high character and uh, are motivated and have intelligence, but when I see them out of shape, uh, 300 plus pounds, but their height doesn't complement that weight. And uh, they have all these health issues, man. Like, it discredits them. Mm -hmm. It takes away from what they can truly bring to the table as a man. It, it impacts their influence. You know, that's that's a good point. Um, because 
you know, you, you kind of always know when it's time to go work out, mm -hmm. when it's time to take your body through this obstacle course. Yeah. You get that good sweat. Um, when you lift them weights, I mean, for your for your age, <laughs> you're not an old man, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 45. But you can lift pretty good weight. Yeah. Yeah, I try to do away from lifting uh, mm -hmm. heavy weights. Uh, to my knowledge, I can, I can get up to two hundred, mm -hmm. you know, weights. I can do more than that probably, but uh, two hundred. But I just want to stay toned, you know, do the dumbbells, right, and uh, stay toned. But uh, the heavy weights, doing too much heavy lifting, can be bad on your joints. Right. So I stay away that from that. But I watch my diet. Right. I watch what I eat. I watch what I intake. Uh, you know, I love the cigars, man, and I and I uh, the, the the alcohol I entertain, but in moderation. I drink a lot of water, like a right. lot of water, and uh, you know, just balancing. I eat right. Eat, eat get my greens, my vegetables. Right. I don't eat a lot of fried food, so you have to be cognizant and conscious of that and mm -hmm. mindful. Well, that thing get out of control. Yeah, and it's it's impressive. I'm impressed when I see a good yeah. sweat workout. Yeah. You know, you're getting up 6, 7 in the morning saying, I'm going to run, you know. Yeah. Going to work out, get it in. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is kind of a side note, but you, you mentioned getting up that early. It's a side note, but brothers, unless you're working overnight, Man, always get up before your woman. You know what I'm saying? Always get up before your woman. Uh, she shouldn't beat you to the hustle. So always get up before her. I'm probably on average. I'm probably up. On average, probably about 6. Sometimes 5.30. It all depends. But typically, I'm, I'm an early bird. And, uh, yeah, man, it means something subconsciously. It means something, man. It has an impact on people's view and perspective of you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, keep that. Do something every day. Every day. If you can't start out every day doing something that helps you uh, in a physical realm, do something every two days. Do something once a week. Start somewhere and work your way up. Because I don't care how much money you make, how smart you think you are, how spiritual you are. Hey, man, when... The first thing someone sees is your physicality, your outside. Right. Now, should they judge you or make an assumption based on that alone? No. But the fact is, that's the first thing they see. Yeah. Your, your outside is the receptionist of the company. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A receptionist can have a huge impact on a company clients visiting that company, future employees visiting that company, employees are coming to work. A receptionist is the first person, first face, right. first personality they see. It's representation. The representation mm -hmm. of the company. Now, she or he, not times he, <laughs> she or he doesn't do anything in operations, anything in accounting, anything on the technical side, but they have a huge impact and that can hurt you. And that's what that is. This is what that is. The reception, receptionist of your company, mm -hmm. of your corporation, man. So make sure you're represented properly. Uh, some things are out of your control. Right. Hey man, you did not choose for your parents to come together and create you. <laughs> Well, no, some things out of control. That's true, but I'm looking at you as you speak. I'm mm -hmm. just watching your jawline. Mm -hmm. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> like that jawline? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she's your, your, huge. Your eye to head ratio. She's huge know? into side profiles. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never understood that until we got together, side profiles. And then I started paying attention to side profiles. I was like, oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I, and when I started paying attention, I know your boy, Michael Ely. <laughs> Yeah, that's you your boy. Just say the name. That boy, Michael Ely, side profile. Now, because you used to you used <laughs> to be like, you know, who Michael Ely. But then we watched the movie, and side profile came up. And I had never noticed side profiles until you. And I, 
say so y'all look at that side profile and uh it opens your eyes to some stuff really? yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah brothers man maintain your frame man do some do some sit-ups do some push-ups uh walk run lift some weights you know what i'm saying like i said i don't do the heavy weights i think in the long run it's bad on your joints and especially me being tall and having long arms mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My 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 uh my uh what do you call it axle. My axle has a long way to go. You know what I'm saying? Lifting weights. And so, you know, uh that that lifting weights, heavy lifting weights really for short arms. You know what I'm saying? I was so. gonna mention that earlier too. You do very good at push ups. Oh yeah, yeah. People are, yeah, people are surprised how many push ups I can do because for I'm tall. Age. Not just for my age, but my height. A lot yeah. of tall guys with long arms don't do a lot of push-ups because you have a long way to go up mm -hmm. and down. Like I say, the axle, right? With a shorter man with shorter arms doesn't have that far to go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, surprisingly, you know, I do a lot of push. But I've been doing push-ups since since I was a, a young man. I'm talking about 10, 11 years old, and then I went into the military, did push-ups all the time, got better at them, and so yeah, that. That sticks with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, maintain your frame, man. Watch that stomach. And not just from uh, a superficial aspect or perspective, but, man, that stomach is bad. That big stomach is bad on your heart. You right. know what I'm saying? It wears you down. Yeah, man, watch what you eat. Uh, listen, man. It makes man. all this area have to work harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, man, you can't. Hey, you can't conquer it all in one day, in one week. Baby steps, just stay disciplined and consistent. But yeah, man, your woman is watching you. Your kids are watching you. People are watching you. And we're here to teach and learn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm watching you. Now, now this is about men. Right. But another video we got to do about women. That's true. Y'all yeah, don't get no pass like that though. But we can, but we can talk about that when it's the we, we, time. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just letting you know. We'll get to the women because, <laughs> man, <laughs> yeah, I'll be letting it go. But hey, you got anything? <laughs> you got anything? You know I'm telling the truth. You got anything? But you just gonna slip that? Come on. Yes, you are telling the truth. But we can hold that till next time. Okay. From us to you, as always, <laughs> love, peace.